Hey, welcome. Come on, let's hang out. Um, let's talk about exponents a little bit. We've got some nice exponent rules that helps us um, simplify and combine these uh, different exponents. Um, I'm just going to cover a few of them. So this one right here, I can see um, I'm doing uh, the product rule for exponents. So the product rule is saying that if they have the same base and they're multiplying, I can add the exponents. Like for instance, in E right here, if it's x to the third times x to the fourth, they're multiplying and have the same base. That tells me that I can add the exponents. So this is going to be x to the seventh. Um, if I run into a situation like on t, um, it's 2x to the second times 3 to the x. There's actually four pieces here. There's two, there's an x to the second, a three, and an x. So if I look at the order a little differently, mix them up a little bit, use the commutative property, this is what I'm actually seeing. And now I can use the product rule. Um, so with my x's, same base, and they're multiplying, I can add my exponent together, and I end up with x to the third. And I do 2 times 3, and I end up with 6. So this is 6x to the third. Let me see if I can find another one in here, a little unique, OK? Um, like for h, here's another interesting one. This is also 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces to it. I've got a negative 2 times x squared times negative 2 times x. And I can look at my x's, and I can ha they have the same base. They're multiplying, so I can add the exponents together. This is actually x to the first. So I end up with x to the third. And then I have a negative 2 times a negative 2. A negative times a negative is positive. 2 times 2 is 4. So it's 4x to the third. Let's find another one. That's a good one to practice on. Um, oh, right here. This guy right here. Now I got a lot of pieces to this. This is a 3 times a times b times 2 times a to the third times b. And I'm going to start right away by putting these together. So I'm going to put my 3 and my 2 together, so it's 3 times 2. And I'm going to put my a's together, so it's a to the first times a to the third. And I'm going to put my b's together, times b to the first times b to the first. And then I can put these pieces together. 3 times 2 is 6. Um, I have a, and it's um, same base multiplying, so I can add the exponents. That's a to the fourth. Um, same base, b, I can add the exponents, so it's b to the second. So my simplified answer to this is a, or six, a to the fourth, b to the second. Take a look at another one of these, that might be good. Um, n, here's a good one. This again has one, two, three, four, five, six pieces to it. I'm going to go ahead and take my six. And my, so I've got a six times uh, six times negative two. I've got a to the second times a to the first. And I've got a b to the second times b to the fifth. Oh, I put a two. That's b to the fifth. And if I simplify these out, 6 times negative 2 is going to be negative 12. A, um, same pace, multiplying, so I can add the exponents. So it's A to the third. I've got B, same base. I can add the exponents, 5, 6, 7, so it's B to the seventh. So it's negative 12 times um, A to the third times B to the seventh. That's a good one. Let's look for another one. Ooh, let's do T. He's another good sample. Um, oh, look at this guy. So I've got a couple of u's here. Um, same base, they're being multiplied. So I have a u to the second plus the first here. I don't want to skip steps. So it's u to the second times u to the first. So I'm going to have u to the third. Let's take a look at the v's here. I've got a v here, and I've got a v here. So it's v to the first times v to the second. I'm going to add those together, and I have v to the third. And now let's look at the coefficients on this one. Um, if you notice that, I have a coefficient of negative 6. And, and really, there's it's kind of like there's a 1 here, but I can just go ahead and tack it on. So it's negative 6. Oh, let me get the total here. So it's negative 6 times u to the third times the v to the third. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Um, look, at, look at some of these really big ones, um, like take on 
L. Yeah, an L. Okay, this is interesting. So right here actually is my coefficient, right here. So I have like, we don't put the one in there, but that's like a negative one. And right here is a negative six. And right here is like a negative one. So I can put all those together right now. So to deal with my coefficient. So I have a, a negative one times negative six times negative one. So negative one times negative six is six. Six times negative one is negative six. So I already know that I'm dealing with a negative six. Now let's look at the u's. Okay, so it's u to the second times u to the second times u to the third. I'm going to add up those exponents. I'm going to end up with u to the three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to look at the red. I've got v's. So I'm going to be looking for v's. No v's here. Here's v. So it's v to the third times, and there's some v's, v's to the fourth. Add those exponents together, and I have v to the four, five, six, seven. So negative six times u to the seventh times v to the seventh. And what's tricky here is some people are, you know, like, going, what about those negatives? Remember, we dealt with the negatives right there. We dealt with those already. So there's some good examples, some good sample problems. Let's go ahead and look at another one of the rules here. Let's go on. Um, ooh, the table scraps one. Okay, this is a power-to-power -power one. All right, a couple of sample ones. Okay, so right now we have x to the third to the second power. So when we have that happens, that's really saying x to the third times x to the third. And when that's happening, we can add the exponents, right? right? And so we have x to the sixth. But there's a shortcut that we found. It's called the power to power one, that if you have um, an exponent to a power, you can just multiply the exponents together. It's like x to the third to the second power is saying x to the three times two because there's two sets and I end up with x to the sixth. It's kind of like getting the same thing. Like let's try that with um, this one right here. Okay, so this is saying um, x to the fourth to the third power. So it's x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth. And I would add the exponents together if I was using the product rule and I would end up with x to the 12th. But the powers to power rule says if I have x to the 4th and if it's to the 3rd power, I can just multiply those together and I get x to the 12th. So you want to keep an eye on that power to power rule. It's really helpful. Uh, let's see another one here. Uh, maybe number 17. Right here, this guy. Okay, um, this third power, this is going to affect both pieces. So this is saying a um, to the first to the third power times b to the fifth to the third power. Okay, so I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking this three and it's going to affect both pieces. Now, um, my multiplying can happen here. So one times three, I end up with a to the third. And then five times three, so it's b to the fifteenth. That's what I end up with. You might end up with something like, uh, like number twenty-one. Okay, remember this negative here. This is really like negative one. Okay, um, but before I deal with that, I need to deal with this three because this cubing that's happening here—it's happening to the five, to the a to the third, and to the b. So let's let's deal with that first. Okay, so I have. I'll start writing. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll do the negative one. That's okay. So negative one times b times. Okay, right here. It's five to the third power. I got to do the a. So it's times a to the third power um, to the third power. Okay, that's where I get that from. That I'm so I have to deal with that. And then I also have um, the b the b to the third power, which I'm getting b to the third power. So let me clean this up a little bit. So it's negative 1 times b times um, 5 to the third, po third power. So it's 5 times 5, which is 25, times another 5, which is 125, times a to the third to the third power. So I can multiply those together, times b to the third. Now I'm going to combine my pieces here. So negative 1 times 125 is negative 125. 
I'm going to look at my, I have a B here, and I have a B to the third, have the same base, they're multiplying, so that's B to the fourth, and then I'm just left with a single A here, A to the ninth. Okay, there are more complex ones in here, but we don't need to go into those. Um, these are just kind of some basic ones that I want you to be able to do. All right, the quotient rule. Let me look and see what are some of the ones I'd like to be able to do on the quotient rule. Um, I'm going to want you to be able to do like something like number five. Like this will be a good one to be able to do. And remember, there's some canceling that can happen here. Um, uh, let, let me just get the gist of what's happening. So x to the third is actually three x's uh, um, over, and there's two x's down here. And when I look at y's, up top there are four y's, one, two, three, four, and down below there's actually one. And so what we're doing is we're actually canceling because x over x is one, so these are canceling out. And what I'm left with is on the top, I'm left with an x, do that in red, keep track of stuff. And for y's, I'm left with y to the third. And that ends up being my answer. Well, the quotient rule taught me another way to do this. It taught me to look at the x's, and I take my x's, and I take my top number, x to the third, and I subtract the bottom exponent, which gives me x to the first. If I look at my y's, I have y to the fourth, minus the 1, I end up with y to the third. And then I can combine those together to get x to the first times y to the third. And I end up with the same answer. So really these different rules are helping me kind of do it um, a little bit faster, a little bit more um, simplified, looking for patterns and rules. All right, so let's look at number 9. We want to be able to do something like 9. The 3 and the 9 simplify out to 1 over 3. So I'm done with that. Let's look at my a's. It's a to the fifth minus 2, so I'm going to end up with a to the third. Uh, let's look at the b's. b to the second minus 5. Okay, this is interesting. I end up with negative 3, which is a small number. So let me put all this together. So let's talk about we have 1 over 3. Okay, um, I have a to the third. And my b, remember this guy? That's a small number, and I represent it by putting it down here, and I drop the negative. So this is what it looks like, and I can even simplify it even more by leaving that one out. A to the third over 3b to the third. All right, where were we? I got uh, gum stuck on my shoe, and I had to pick it off. It took me forever. All right, where are we at? Let's see. Uh, nah, nah, okay, this one's good. This one's good. 17. There we go. This is the one I want to talk about. All right, so I'm looking at my just my coefficients, and 14 over 2 can become 7 over 1, OK? Um, I have my k's, so that's going to be k9 minus 1, which gives me k to the eighth. So that's going to be on the top. Um, then I'm going to look at my m's, and it's m3 minus 3. So actually, it means m to the 0 which is 1, so those actually go away. So my actually, my answer ends up being k, or 7k to the 8th over 1. So it can just be 7k to the 8th, which I can sign right here. Woo that's pretty good. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that's about it. These are the different pieces. If you can go through and work through these ones, I think you'll, you'll be good. You'll be working plenty through the exponent rules. That'll be good. All right. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go find that piece of gum I just picked off my shoe and take a little nibble. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's a, one of my favorite flavors.